Hi there, I'm Robbie Jeanette, author of The Key of One, a notation-free approach to learning music. Now, I wanted to clear up two misconceptions before we start on this five-minute little educational piece. One, notation is not music. Notation, sheet music, was invented back before electricity as the only way that you could really record music. And people who read sheet music translate this back into a live performance. But if you take the sheet music away, can you play the piano? Do you have a voice? Most often not. And so I've chosen to take the sheet music and put it aside, not that it's good or bad, but just to put it aside so we can look at music beneath it. And most people don't know that there is music to learn beneath it, and that is one of the big problems with music education. The second misconception is that this is very, very difficult information, and there's a lot of it, and it's a lot to learn. And this is a big problem, because if you get into this thinking that there's a ton of material, it's going to prevent you from understanding how simple this really is, because the basics and the fundamentals of music are based on what you learned before you were even in kindergarten. How to count to 12, or really to 7, and how to say the alphabet, not even the whole alphabet, from A to G. Can you say the alphabet from A to G, forwards and backwards? Can you count to 12, forwards and backwards? Then you have what it takes to learn, understand, and play the music that you want to play. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, I'm gonna blow through this kind of fast, but with the magic of the internet, you can watch it over and over again. Obviously, in a private lesson, I would take my time to make sure you understood everything as we went along. But without further ado, let's start. Music itself comes down to a numerical formula. And that numerical formula is simple. It's seven numbers. And when you lay down a one, it lays out the sound of a two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very simple. Now you've heard of the major and the minor scale. The major and the minor scale are not two separate scales. They are very, very much out of the same formula. And here's how we lay down that formula. We take an octave. We lay down our four and our five in the middle. I'm doing this in C because in C, the major scale lays out on all the white keys. Octave, four and five in the middle. We have one note between four and five, this little trio of notes in the middle. That leaves four notes between five and one, and four notes between one and four, a nice even split. Between five and one, we have our sixes and our sevens, a pair of each, minor before major. Between one and four, we have our thirds, minor before major, and we have our two, and then we have a note between one and two, and kind of like the note between four and five, those are our two kind of outlier notes. So the major and the minor scale, it's, they both use a one, two, four, and a five, and then it's a choice of your threes, sixes, and sevens, and neither the major or the minor scale use those two outlier notes, the flat two and the flat five. So you have one, two, four, five, choice of three, six, or seven, a pair of each, and the two outlier notes. And that is the entirety of the foundation of music. Now, if you are playing in different keys on the piano, that numerical pattern is going to be shaped differently because the piano is an uneven landscape. And usually traditional teachers will teach you how everything is different and never teach you that there's this one numerical formula that makes everything sound the same. So when you play a major scale, it sounds like Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So on the way up and Joy to the World on the way down. Now the minor scale is perfectly exemplified in a black and white uh, shape by using A to A on the white keys. And that gives us basically the exact same thing. One, two, four, five, one. And we're choosing our minor three, six, and seven and still not playing our two outlier notes. It's like the smallest deck of cards ever. One, two, four, and five, pair of threes, pair of sixes, pair of sevens, and two jokers, all right? So chords come out of the scale by taking a triad, tri, three, three notes, and moving it up the major scale. What we get is we get our first chord is major, second chord minor, third chord minor, fourth chord major, fifth chord major, sixth chord minor, or seventh chord is diminished, which means it's like a minor chord with a flat five. And so basically that's how we get our basic chords. Now each key has a basic major and minor chord. So you have 12 keys, you have 24 chords, that is a finite number of triads that exist, and those are very easy to learn and learn how to interact with. There's three things that you can do with chords. You can move around in the middle, choose your major or minor third to make it a major or minor chord, or suspend the use of the third and use a two or a four for a sus two or a sus four. Second thing you can do to a chord is raise or lower the fifth to augment or diminish the fifth. And the third thing you can do is add on top. Six is major seven, minor seven, and then you can repurpose a two on top for a nine, a four on top for an 11, a six on top for a 13 to make more expansive jazz chords. And basically, that's all that you need to know about basic triads. Modes, you might have heard of. And the modes come out of basically playing the notes of a scale. If you play from two to two, this is a different mode. Three to three, it's a different mode. And what happens is you get this perfect example of these different modes. You have the Ionian mode, which actually is the major scale. 
You have the Dorian mode, which is the second one, which is a minor scale with a major six. You have the Phrygian scale, which is a minor scale with a flat two. You have the Lydian scale, which is a major scale with a sharp four. And you have the Mixolydian scale, which is a major scale with a minor seven. Then you have the Aeolian mode, which is the minor scale. And then you have the Locrian, which has a flat two and a flat five and a minor scale. So at the end of the day, you've justified using a major six, a flat two, and a flat five and a minor scale and you justified using a minor seven and a sharp four in a major scale. And the fact that that flat five and that sharp four is the same note between four and five, there's this one note here, I call that the blues note because it's used in the blues scale. Now the blues scale is a six note scale that basically uses this little trio in the middle, four, blues note, and five, and your flat three and flat seven. Again, formula works in every key. The one scale that you'll also hear about is the pentatonic scale, which is just the one, two, three, five, and six. No four or no seven. Now the white keys we usually go to to give us an example, but in this case, G flat is a great example because that gives us the pentatonic scale across the black keys, which is a great example. You'll hear about other modes. Um, you'll hear about the harmonic minor, which is a minor scale with a major seven. You'll hear about the harmonic major, which is a major scale with a minor six. Keep in mind that at the end of the day, what the modes have done is they've justified single note substitutions for a major or minor scale. So you have a major scale with one note substitution. And if you use that substitution every time you're playing modally, if you use that substitution as a color on your palette, then you can use it whatever you want and you can justify everything. So basically we've covered this formula. You have one, four, five, and then the octave on top. Pair of sixes, pair of sevens between five and one. You have a pair of thirds, and then your two and your flat two between one and four. And you always have this little trio in the middle, your blues note between four and five. That is the foundation for all of the music that you have ever heard. And hopefully you can use these notes, use the chords, 24 chords, that's it that exists, in any way that you want and create the music that you want. Enjoy.